Welcome to Ogle's Channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's talk about how to cheese the Dragon Kin Soldier at the Lake of Rot in Elden Ring. Now, first off, this is by far the hardest Dragon Kin Soldier in the entire game, and it's all because of the surroundings that he's at. The Lake of Rot is a miserable hellscape to journey through, and um, there's a few things you can do to help out with it. You can get the uh, Flame Cleanse Me, which will take away Scarlet Rot if you get it, but even then, it's just for an instant and it builds back up so fast, but it is sort of a required incantation to have for this. And also either have a lot of Estus for health or have like a great heal you can work your way through as well. But essentially what you're going to do is you're going to journey your way across the uh, Lake of Rot here and you're not even going to go to the Dragonkin Soldier at first. Your first goal is simply going to be to go off to the area at the right. It's going to be a little... Um, temple-like area that's going to house a lot of these uh, lizard frog fellas that have been in like all the Souls games. And you don't really want to go and engage them. You want to just take them out from a distance. So I recommend using your um, Rotten Breath and just get Scarlet Rot and just take them all out. They're pretty easy to do. And then get the ones on the left-hand side as well because you want to get rid of all of them in this area. You don't want to leave any of them up to chance for the later part of the strategy. Once you've killed all the little uh, frog lizard thingamajigs here at that point you're going to want to journey your way across the little lake of rot here for the platforms to get to the dragonkin soldier when you get to the dragonkin soldier go ahead and use your flame cleanse me get your health back up get yourself situated again and then at that point use your rotten breath on the dragonkin soldier it won't give him rot however it will take away a pretty good amount of health and it will activate him at this point run back in this little line that i'm showing here and then journey into that little um, cathedral or that little building where you killed all those frog creatures earlier. Once you journey into that building, it's best to stand in the middle because it's less likely to get hit. But in certain cases, you can stand off to the side. I recommend the middle because you're le least likely to get hit at this location. The Dragonkin Soldier will then journey his way over and he'll stand in front of the doorway here and when he's in front of the doorway, you can unleash your Rotten Breath on him and you can get continual damage on him while he can't hit you because he's stuck at that doorway. Now occasionally he'll uh, journey off and you'll have to go back out and reactivate him but for the most part when he journeys off he journeys back pretty quickly and you can just simply stay where you're at and shoot some more rotten breath out when he comes around. But if he does journey too far off and starts heading back to his original location just follow the same path, reactivate him, and then head back to this little building and stand in your location and wait for him to come to the doorway and use your rotten breath and you can take him out. I'm not going to say in no time because this whole little process takes a little while, but you will have him taken out very effectively with very minimal combat and it's almost a guaranteed victory. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other Elden Ring cheese and strategy videos listed up above. As always, go out there, find a great game to play, and just simply have a great rest of the day.